Hi everyone, so I am here for my 2019 Briarfest haul. I wanted to get this filmed when there was still sunlight because once the sun sets I have basically no light in, in my room because I live in the basement and I don't have many lamps in here so you basically won't be able to see crap so I'm hoping to get this done within a reasonable time. So as always we're gonna start with the miscellaneous slash like freebie items that I received. So first um, I got this, they were giving out free magazines, one of the stands at the horse park. So I just picked up the first one I grabbed which was this modern Arabian one. Let's see if it's yeah, uh, none of this is organized. <laughs> I gotta just all throw it up here and said, let's start filming. Anyway, so I also picked up a few of these um, Hall of Fame, Briar advertisements. And then for the Collector Club tent, I got my little ribbon and my um, Hamilton sticker. And let's see, got a couple of these Oliver like little name information cards. This was in the um, Briar store. It's this keychain, but it's really cute because it like, um, is that the button? Wait, it's on the back right there. <laughs> it's like, it can turn into like a little flashlight. That was kind of cute. So I just picked that up. Let's see, you got this. I'm not sure where I got this. It was definitely somewhere at the horse park. Um, this I bought at the Visitor Center gift shop, and it's a little Oliver magnet. Um, I see, I got a f couple of the stable mates to pick up to paint at home. So I got this mold. This is. Uh, I'm not sure, but there's there's another one in there. Um, let's see, here are my single day stable mates. So we have a Dante, Aria, Chiffon, who is my favorite, and Toe Tapper. So I just bought for um single day. Hold on, I'm gonna get my pop socket out there so I can hold it better. Um I just bought four um single day tickets because I really wanted to get these guys. Uh I picked up this free button at the Artisan's Gallery. And someone was selling some blankets at the Clarion and I picked this one up because it looks so much like one of my favorite album's covers. I had to get it, um, so yeah, I think that was $8. Um, oh, these are a bunch of um, ribbons that I bought um, for one of my horses you'll see here. Um, Oliver and Special Run Ticket. Just this little freebie. See, I got a free bracelet. It says, I love Arabians, Barfest 2019. I thought that was pretty cute. Here are the buttons for this year. They're that same kind of like diamond shape. I'm not a huge fan of this like shape, but what are you gonna do? It's free. Here's the program. Uh, this I also picked up at the Visitor Center, and it's a signed picture of Oliver, and it also has some of his hair in there. Um, I thought it was really cute, and it's a really pretty picture of him, and it was only $11.99, so that was a pretty good find. Got another button. I'm sending uh, one of these to my friends, so they're, they're not all for me. I didn't just steal a bunch of buttons. Um, and then we also have the magnet. Um, and then I have my mom and I's Peter Stone, um, like little lanyards. We only got two stickers, which was the Fair Fairfield and Clarion, but whatever. Another magnet, pencil, um, okay, this is kind of, um, I don't do this often, I swear, but, um, I noticed that someone threw a bunch of Briar catalogs away in front of my hotel room's class trash bin, um, but they were at the top and there was, like, no icky food touching them, I swear to God, like, they're, they had just been put there and they're in perfect and fine condition, and I just couldn't believe that someone had just thrown them out like that, so, 
Yeah, if you threw those away, like, um, I copped them. <laughs> um, another Equilocity thing. And then, if you guys were there, I'm sure you saw that, like, Young Ryder was giving out these free drawstring bags. And then, there's all this stuff inside. I'm not going to say everything, but, like, some of the really cool things. It came with sunglasses. There's, like, a spirit bookmark in there, which is really cool since I like to read. And then there's, we got free Briarfest magnets. Um, oh, no, these, um, these mane and tail samples, like, all of this for free, it was, it was just so awesome. So, I hope to do something like that again, but that was just, like, a really, really nice thing of them to do. There's a free magazine of there, an issue of Gun Rider, which I used to buy all the time. So, yeah, literally all of that was free. In freaking sync. And then, um, I got this, uh, canvas bag with a liver on it. And then I just thought I'd show, I did not buy these models, but I only brought them to get them signed. So we have Latigo, Latigo, done it. I heard people pronounce it both ways. So at this point, I really don't freaking know, but got him signed. And then we also have Dominante and I got him signed as well. Okay, so, oops, my hand just, <laughs> Anyways, okay, so time for the horses. I'm not quite sure I'm going to do this because I'm literally uh, surrounded by them. We'll figure this out. Um, but anyways, so first I wanted to show my special runs. So I did have a pretty decent year at Briarfest overall, but special run wise, it was really frustrating um, and the, the worst for me um, because... Um, I had four special run tickets myself, one of them I bought from a girl for $20, um, and all four of those tickets I was stuck uh, basically in the last 100, and the only ticket I had that was a good spot was actually my friend Bar Crazy for Sure's. She sent me her ticket to pick her up some models, and then last minute decided she didn't want any, uh, and that was the only ticket where I was up front and in a decent spot, so I really owe her my life. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so, well, first here I have, um, just one store special just sitting here, but I have Zift and Black Magic, and he is signed, and, oh yeah, he's really pretty, and he's, uh, in really great condition, his masking is, is really well done, and on his spots, they're very nice and crisp, um, and he's got really nice little pink eye there, yeah, he's really, really cute, um, and then I also had, they had, um, like, just regular paper pictures you could get signed. Unfortunately, I got a little down, but, oh, wow. Um, okay, so now, actually, on to special runs. So, the first two special runs I actually picked up, so those were with, um, my friend's ticket. I was able to get the Pinto surprise, and her ticket was at 10 a.m. on Friday, so... Nobody knew what the surprise was. It was really exciting. I'd always wanted to do a special run right in the morning, but just wasn't really sure when that would be. Um, but with her ticket, I was able to actually experience it, and it was really exciting. Um, and so this was the one that I pulled, and I really like him. He is matte, but he's so pearly that he is really, really shiny. So, um, yeah, I really like his variation. And... I think the one thing I am impressed with with Briar this year, special run wise, is the quantity control seemed much better. Um, all but one of my models came in basically perfect condition, and um, the markings are all very, very crisp. So I think they might have taken some criticism there and um, figured that whole thing out. Um, and then I also picked up a Rocket because I thought Rocket was going to be the most popular surprise or the most popular special run, which would later come to bite me in the ass. But anyways, I picked up Rocket and unfortunately I, well, I really, I want them both. Um, if anyone has the Pinto version and is interested in selling in it, selling it, wow, English, um, I am very interested and like I'm a serious buyer um so I'm not gonna like give you some crummy offer for him uh I'm just very very interested of for him for my conga so it would really mean a lot if um if you have one that you're considering selling if you would message me or something 
or just comment on this video because I'm very, very interested. But anyways, so I got just the like common version of him, I guess, but he's still really, really pretty. And I mean, he's on the, he's on the Emerson mold. So I love him. And then, so my first special run on Friday, I ended up in the last, I'd say 20 people. That was fun. And I ended up getting stuck with, oh, oops, oh God. With just Pepper, by the time I had gone up there, they were sold out of absolutely everything. And so uh, these two models I was supposed to get, I couldn't because I was stuck with one Pepper. And I later realized, at first I thought it was just Briar running out, but I later realized the lady told me that. They were just letting people pick two of whatever they wanted. So uh, earlier in the day, if they wanted two surprises, they were able to pick two surprises. And that's why people were running out, and also that apparently Briar left some back in New Jersey, apparently. So, that accumulated. Basically, a lot of people got stuck with just Peppers or the dog at the end, and I was stuck with just Pepper. I was planning on getting Pepper anyways, uh, but it would have been nice to get another special run with that ticket, since I was supposed to get two. But anyways, um... Then next, I did get a little bit more fortunate, and I was able to pick up Diana. I was still really stuck in the back, but somehow was still able to pick up a Diana. Unfortunately, I didn't learn my lesson last year, and didn't look at her face before I took her home, and she has this on her. I'm not sure what the heck it is, but... I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's too late to message Briar and ask for a replacement. Uh, but I'm I'm super frustrated because I don't know what the hell this is. But it looks gross. Um, but besides that, she's really nice. I got the Lamin version, which is what I wanted because I'm not actually a huge fan of the braided version on this ma on this mold. So yeah, she's nice. She's got like some Doppelin down there and everything. But I'm kind of peeved about the whole thing. And then I also was able to get Quill. And then getting Quill, I realized he is 100% my favorite special run this year, uh, which I never expected. Um, his markings are super, super crisp. He's he's Alice Q, which shocked me. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with his color and his shade and everything about him. And so then later on that night, I went in search of a glossy one at the Clarion. And I found one. Mm, decently priced, a lot cheaper than some of the ones I was seeing, so I picked him up, and oh my god, I mean, he just pops in the gloss, he's absolutely gorgeous, again, he's basically flawless, um, I am just absolutely in love with this model, which I'm really shocked about, because he was kind of at the bottom of my want list, uh, but I absolutely adore everything about Quill, so then, um, after that, I had another special run, and I picked myself up of Natasha, and she is, as you can see, just your standard girl, but I really, really like her. I'm surprised she wasn't as popular, but also, I guess, not too surprised, but I really, really uh, do enjoy her quite a bit, and then... I was super fortunate to somehow still manage to get a surprise because the banners were selling out quicker. And so my second time, I managed to snag the rose gray and matte. And at first I wasn't really too happy because from glancing at it, I wasn't too fan of the dapple gray or the rose gray. But I'm actually pretty happy with this model. The more I looked at him, the more I really started to appreciate him. I'm super happy it wasn't the dark dapple gray because that one I still cannot get on board with. But this one, the more I spent looking at it, the more I was like, mm, yeah, you know what? He's not too bad. So, unfortunately, no glossy this year. Um, I really struggled with just getting any of these horses at all. Um, it was a tough year, special run-wise. 100% uh, was my worst year. And then, <laughs> this is so hard to do, um, we have Oliver, and this is the one I took out. I initially was going to get him signed on Sunday when I do all my sign-ins, but, oh my god, the line, it was just not going to happen. And I had, at that point, it was like 1.30, and I hadn't ate anything, and I was just done. 
with everything. And I already kind of had his signature on that picture. So I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to bring him next year and see if I can get him signed then. Also, sorry for my cat's food. Anyways, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to worry and about getting his signature next year. So, um, yeah. And then I also have two more new in box. Okay. So, um, at the Peter Stone room at the Fairfield Inn, I found this guy. He is so pretty. He is named Merkin, and he is an oak. I love, love, love him. I mostly loved his tail. Um, oh, he's just so pretty. I'm just still stone trash. Um, and... I'm super, super happy with this boy. So that is him. And then I didn't get too much at the horse park. I think I only got 32. I'm only seeing two. Um, and one of them was Bailey. I have always kind of been interested in getting Bailey, but never was like at the top of my list. But I found him there for like a decent price and he was in perfect condition so I just decided to pick him up. He did come with a COA but I uh, can't find it at the moment so. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> I really really am happy with this guy and it's been a while since I've gotten a model on the flash so yeah. Uh, and then uh, this is my first time ever doing it but I bidded on one of Peter Stone's baskets and I ended up winning. So this was, oh my gosh, what was his name? I'm just gonna insert like his pictures and everything right here. Um, and then also insert pictures of um, the rest of the items in his basket. But the minute I saw him, it was basically true love. I am in love with decorators as we all know. Green is my favorite color. It was just, it was meant to be in every way <laughs> and uh his eyes i mean just he's so so pretty um and i love him and of course so he's also an oak as well so i am just over the moon with him and i love him so much okay this is getting really hard <laughs> anyways so if you watch my hauls you know every single year I get an Art on Fire custom. It's tradition. And this year I got this little girl and she was only $25. And oh my god, like I'm obsessed with these customs. I can't believe that they are as marked as they are because they're just so stunning to me. And I wish I could just buy every single thing that this lady does for real it's just I'm just freaking obsessed and this is one of my absolute favorites she's so tiny she like barely weighs anything oh she's just she's so precious so yeah absolutely love her uh and then this is the other model I picked up at the horse park and this was was his name Oh my goodness gracious. I'm blinking. But, um, wait. Two bits. It says it right there, you idiot. Okay. Anyways, two bits. I got him for 35 I don't know, like, what his price range is, but I just saw him and, like, fell in love with him because he looks like a little, a little Oreo cookie. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just felt like I needed him. It was, like, a really weird impulse buy, but I was just like, mm, I need him. So, I got him. So, yeah. It's super cute. I like him a lot. Um, just put it back there. Um, here are some of my minis. So, I picked up the little green fruitcake at the Clarion for mm, $20, I think. I purchased two of these when they went for sale and got both reds. And the red was my least favorite variation because it looks so much like cupcake. So I was really peeved about that. So I will be selling my other one next year. Um, and then I'm just going to keep this gal. Um, because I needed the green one. Because like I said, green's my favorite color. So. Yeah. And then I picked up the 
pink chaser in that one set that has caused me pain and frustration for so long. Um, he was $10, so, you know, the amount of money I spent trying to find this guy, I'll never get back, but it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> then the stone bucks I got for getting him, I got uh, $29 in stone bucks, so I decided to pick this guy up after the um, finding out I won the basket. So I got him for like, I think 40 something dollars. Oh, he's so cute. And this is actually my very first ever stone uh, like pebble. So I'm super, super happy. And I just fell in love with him. He is the most precious little guy. Um, and I just love his facial expression and everything. He's just, he's super cute. So I got him and then I painted a couple stable mates at the park. Neither are finished. I just kind of, you know, did that whenever but uh yeah I did this one Friday and this one Saturday and I like doing like weird funky colors so I just chose both like funky fantasy colors but anyways I always like doing the painting because it's a good way to like relax and take like an hour out of the trip and not do anything so it's it's nice um this was the only Christmas thing I got related this year. I'm still super iffy on the Christmas horse this year. And I know I'm eventually going to get her because I collect the models. But I just was in the mood to pick her up this year. So I just picked up this carousel ornament because it was really, really neat. And I really like the colors on her him. I'm not sure. But yeah. really, really was liking this ornament. So I picked it up. Um, and then this guy I found in the briar store for $10. I've never heard or seen of him, but he was really interested in me. So, I just picked him up. I'm not, he's from 2008? I don't know. I just found him interesting, so I just picked him up. And then I didn't do, like, the in pot or anything this year. Uh, I never will. Oops, I dropped an Oliver. Uh, I never will again. But, uh, I went in maybe around, like, 11.30, noonish, um, and I found a Quinn, which I've been really wanting, um, he's my, like, favorite that's come out in the Vintage Club basically ever, and I really, really wanted him, and I found him, I haven't opened him yet, but, yeah, I was pretty happy about that, so him and then so I got these guys at the artisans gallery I have been looking at this set I I, I just I really don't even know it feels like forever at this point um, because the little kitty looks so much like my tuxedo cat um, and I'm actually going to I talked to the lady about this she said it'd be fine if I like just kind of alternated him a bit to look more like my cat because he doesn't have like you know he's all black on top and then he's got a white tummy and little white legs um and his face is after and everything the only thing is he just doesn't have this like little white spot right here so i think i'm gonna just kind of fix that so i can get that to look like my simba um but then we have the little foal and just just precious and i got them them Saturday night so she took a little bit of money off especially because I was like talking to her about uh, us bo both owning tuxedos so yeah she was super super nice and I'm so happy to have finally got um, this pair after looking at them for so long and then at the swap me I found only two things at the swap me and they were both customs um, and so I picked up this little full and I don't know, it was just, it, again, it was kind of like an impulse buy, but I just really, really liked him. And I only have one OF on this mold, and I was like, I really need more, because I love this mold. Um, it's one of my favorite full molds ever. And I just saw this little custom and just thought he was the most adorable thing. So, I picked him up, and he came with this nice little cloth patch thing there. Okay, we're going to start from the bottom going up. It's so much easier to do that. So, I picked up Buckeye because I wanted to get him signed. Um, ooh, kind of getting some bad light in here. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I got Buckeye signed. 
and this is the first time I've ever bought in a mule briar and I'm really impressed like I really like this mold just really really cute and uh, yeah so I really like him and he's really crisp really nice not too many smudges or anything so I am impressed um, and then this girl is probably my second favorite buy of the whole trip honestly um, and I got her for only a hundred dollars which I thought was a very fair deal and I just found her in one of the rooms she had all customs but this girl just popped out to me right away and she is just the most precious thing her hat I'm never I'm never gonna get over the hat ever in my whole life um, and the amount of detail and just care put into her is incredible I'm so honestly lucky to call this beautiful model mine I'm just absolutely obsessed with her that expression is just everything to me so yeah I am in freaking love with this horse so and then we have Patrick I love Patrick like love Patrick and so I was so happy to see that he got himself a model and I loved seeing him again and he is signed there and I also bought um his little pony pouch and I got it signed on the back there too and then they also had this little picture of him and I got the little signature I guess there <laughs> so yeah very Patrick full of year for me um and then we got Rico and I got him signed but I got him signed on his tail there so it wouldn't mess with his belly when he's sitting up and Rico was so funny um I was one of the first people to get my model signed so I had to wait in the next line to get whatever model was next and so I was able to basically watch him for like 30 40 minutes he's so freaking funny and I got some really cute footage of him too so that'll be in my experience video but oh my god he was just absolutely precious and then we have uh Vicki Wilson and Kentucky so Kentucky wasn't there obviously but Vicky was and so I got um him signed and I really really like this model like I want to show because I really think people should uh see that he's just I don't know I really, really love this guy, actually. I think he's really cute. I know this isn't a well-loved mold, but I don't know. I just think he's so cute. I think he's a nice little regular run, so I would consider picking him up. And then we got Hal, and I actually missed Hal's sign-in on Sunday. I had to stop and drop things off and pick up my diorama, so I wasn't able to get him signed, but that's okay. I was able to see him perform in the arena and everything so that was at least I got to see him and I did get some pictures of him and stuff so yeah that was him uh and then we got truly unsurpassed <laughs> truly unsurpassed and I got her signed and then uh, this little bracelet got cat hair uh this little bracelet too and then okay let's jump into banner right so sunday night i was determined to find myself a banner now there's not many rooms open saturday or sunday night so um i went through maybe like 20 or so rooms because there really was no one i was like banner no banner no banner no finally literally in one of my very last rooms I walked in and there was a banner and at this point I was so desperate so determined to have this model I was like willing to give my soul when I asked how much she was charged and she said 160 and I was like yes so 160 seems like a lot for a special run that I could have bought for $75 but uh the prices I've seen other people pay in yeah it's really not that bad and so that's what he looks like up to the sun I am so, I'm just so 
uh, stinking happy to have this horse and not have to pay over $200 for him, which I was so close to doing at some points. So I am so happy to have gotten him for what I think is a pretty fair price. And then also from that lady, she was so nice. And I um, asked uh, if she would do any lower on this guy. She had him at 100, but I noticed he had a little bit of a scuff there. And she said 75 and I was willing to do that. This was the color crazy stallion from 07 or 08. Um, and I really have always wanted him, but just have never found one at the right price. And even though he had that little scuff, I was willing to ignore it for $75. So I'm really happy to add to my hot conga. Okay, uh, moving up here. I got the little Pisces Zodiac fighter because I'm a Pisces, um, which is why I take everything way too personally. Yay. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to find this one, um, because I didn't need any of the others, I just, I just wanted the Pisces, so I found him and I'm super happy. Okay, so, uh, I went a little lonesome crazy this year. I got the Appy Quill Surprise and I got this one Sunday as well and I got him, <clears throat> wait for it, for $60 and... LSQ, nothing wrong with him. You know, his face marking, I guess, could be a bit crisper, but $60, less than what they even paid for him to begin with. I was so happy. So, yeah. And then one of my bigger surprises, or <laughs> surprise, surprise, that's the only word that can come out of my mouth. One of my bigger purchases was the Cremello Quail Surprise. And I'm super um, happy to have him. I am okay with what I paid. Um, it wasn't anything insane. And I was able to get $25 off what she originally asked. Um, and I just am so happy to have this model because I have really, really wanted him for a while now. And yeah. And then I also got Thrill Seeker. And I got him for only $200 because he's got a bit of a boo-boo there. But... It was not enough for me to say no to a $200 thrill seeker who I honestly didn't think I was ever going to own um, because I can get a little frustrated by the prices at times. So this was a really, really great purchase for me. And then we have Silver Wolf, who I also picked up um, Sunday. And so I had some really good luck Sunday, honestly. Um, and I have been wanting Silver Wolf for a another really long time because uh, the Henry Mold, or yeah, this is the Henry Mold, right? I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of my absolute favorites when I first started collecting. Henry was a grail of mine for a while, which is kind of funny because he isn't really that rare. But uh, I had a hard time finding him when I first started collecting. And then Silver Wolf, I kept looking at in my little like booklet of all the models and I always wanted Silver Wolf but could never find one at the right price so I found one for she had 45 on them I got him down to 40 so I was pretty pretty happy with that I'm not the best negotiator honestly I get kind of nervous when I do it so I usually don't ask for a ton off but I was happy with paying that and then let's see I got Rislin on Thursday night um and I <laughs> So happy to finally have him he's again a horse that like I have wanted but was never super high on my list so it wasn't like an urgent purchase so I've passed on a lot of them but I saw him there for 75 and thought yeah this is gonna be the year the year that I pick myself up a Rislin so and he's LSQ and in a really really great condition so I'm happy with him and then it would not be Briarfest without picking up some IDs so, let's get into it. Alright, so the first one I picked up was a custom, and uh, he was $100, and I found him in one of the bigger rooms, um, and he is just so pretty. I really love his um, shading and his dapples, and he's signed there, and... 
It was one of the very first rooms I walked into. I saw an Ida Kiss custom. I grabbed. That's just how it works with me. So, yep. Then, drum roll. I'm really this like drum roll, but drum roll. I finally got an LSQ Ida Kiss. If you saw my unboxing for my glossy Ida Kiss, you know how in horrible shape my Ida Kiss is. And this guy, he's been live shown. He's proven to be LSQ. I got him for $50, which I was pretty happy with. I have turned down so many Ida Kisses um, because they've had little minor scuffs. I wanted the perfect LSQ Ida Kiss and I found him and I am just thrilled to finally have a really, really decently quality Ida Kiss. Um, and then this guy I found at the swap meet. This is my other custom I picked up there. I got him for $10 because they said that when he was traveling, he had a boo-boo and was not packaged correctly. And well, as you can see, he's got some issues down there. But when you look at him this way, he looks all right. Um, but he was only $10 and I really like this like portion of him right here. Um, besides those big old bubble wrap marks, people, uh, we have to learn how to package with bubble wrap, but <laughs> just rule number one of packing. But yeah, I mean, he was $10. I wasn't going to leave him there. I'm going to rescue an Ida kiss if he needs to be saved. So that is him. And then dun -dun 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 -dun, finally got a Valiant. Again, Valiant's one I've passed up on for a while because I just wanted the perfect price, the perfect one, and I just knew I had to get him this year, so I found him. He, unfortunately, I didn't even realize it after I had purchased him, uh, doesn't have his little COA ticket, which uh, is, is really frustrating to be honest, but oh well. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what my Idikas Kong is up to, but I will like insert it on the screen here because um, I have to count. But it's uh, it's getting up there, so. And then, so another one I picked up was Swirling Sky. I got him for 275, and he's actually a sample found in the Briar store, so that's why he has no number on him or a COA. And I remember hearing that there were Swirlin' Skies in the Briar store a few years ago, so, um, let's see, mm, kind of hard to, like, see, yeah, he, he definitely looks better in person, but. Another translucent, I'm such a sucker for Briar translucents, um, and I have really, really been wanting this one to match my Tortuga, so. Um, yeah, and I thought it was kind of cool that he's a sample, so, yeah, I got, I got him. Alrighty, so, um, now I'm gonna just do what I got at the, uh, pop-up shop. So, we've got my Sarge, and I'm not sure if I want to take him out of the box, because I love him in this little box so much, but then again, like, I don't want him to get rubs or anything, so I'm not sure, but anyway, so we got Sarge. And I have my Oliver plushie. I actually was uh, did my special run and then my mom went and got my pop-up stuff. I really wanted number 127, but she was able to find number 125. So it's close enough, I guess, um, out of a thousand. So yeah, I'm really happy. He is, like I think a lot of people have said, he's definitely their best plushie. He's so soft. And I hope they continue to do the plushies based on the celebration horses and not the... Um, interesting designs they've done in the past shall i say anyways then i also got the rc i want to get this right rcmp little classic guy and i wasn't able to get him signed because i didn't realize he wasn't doing sign-ins on sunday only i think on saturday maybe friday um but yeah so i picked him up and yeah i do wish i would have gotten him signed but oh well He's still really cute. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Got a little squish there. I picked up the Oliver poster. Um, 
yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to get all four, but, um, control, I had, I, I had control over myself this year, so I just got Oliver. Um, and then I picked up, of course, I had to get the 30th anniversary box, and this is really awesome. I've seen all these, mo uh, all these horses in real life, except for, um, Martin Shiny and Oh, the Imperior. So I'm really happy to have stable mates of uh, models I've actually met um, in stable mate form. So yeah, I'm not sure who my favorite is. Maybe Brass Hat. Um, he was super well done. Um, or Mariah or All Glory. Who I just missed so much. I love All Glory. So yeah, and then let's see. I picked up the. Um, the um, uh, cleaner plush that they're selling um, the taps um, I have like um, a connection to the um, to taps and um, they were um, you bought this plushie and it like went towards them and he was only ten dollars and the real cleaner was there and he's so so cute and precious so yeah I picked him up he is just a, like basically as soft as Oliver um, they're both kind of the same material. I'd say this guy's just a bit softer. So, yeah, I'm really happy with those two little guys. Um, and then I picked up two shirts at the pop-up shop. I did not like any of the shirts they were advertising, so I wasn't really planning on getting anything this year. I hated all the shirts last year, so I didn't get anything. But they had a few that they weren't advertising. And so this one with Rico, Oliver, Hal, and Zipped, I adore. And I saw a lot of people with this one. It's just, and it's just so cute. Um, and I really love the shirts with the actual models on them. So I picked that one up. And then I picked this one up, which I wore today in the car ride home. And it's so comfy. Um, and it's this lawn sleeve, but it's like a thin fabric. So it's not super warm. Um, and it says breakfast there. And then it says horse heroes on the sleeve. So. I really liked that and then I bought lawyer but I didn't have time to open them up because I like I said I wanted to get this filmed um, before the sunset um, so you know I had to pick him up because you know love the uh, wow blanking on the name the Bristol mold so you know I had to get him and then I had to get a glossy California chrome um, I still love the cigar mold, even though I don't really con it like I used to, but I couldn't pass on getting this guy, and I got him way cheaper than I've seen them going for. I think the standard price is like 800 at this point, and I got him a couple hundred dollars less than that, so I am pretty happy with him. And then, oh, I forgot to show that I also got the, uh, crystal, uh, but I haven't opened, uh, the crystal yet, but yeah, I got Defiant. And then I also got the Justify Resin. He's for Christmas though, so I'm not gonna be opening him for a few months, but I am super happy to have picked him up finally. Okay, so that is all for me guys. This is all that I purchased at Briarfest 2019. Overall, I had a really fun year, but I'm really, really looking forward to next year for some specific reasons. Um, and I think it's pretty much guaranteed to be one of my absolute favorites. Um, but I had a really, really good time this year. And I cannot wait to see you all next year. If you have any questions, not regarding like how much I paid for the oak and whatnot, even though that is public information, feel free to comment down below and I will try and get to it. Um, I know I'm not always the best at responding to comments, which I really apologize about. I will try and get better at that. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. So for the last horse of my Briarfest 2019 haul, we have this stunning boy right here. This is the Emerson Oak lot number one for this year. I am so, so happy to have gotten him. He is just so gorgeous. And I <laughs> just love him so much. And 
here is his COA. And they also have my other things, like the little sign from the auction and everything. Um, but yeah, oh, I just, I just adore him so, so much. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I got at Briarfest this year. I had a really, really fun time and I am super excited to see uh, you all again next year. Um, and I did also want to say real quick to please not leave any comments regarding the price of my oak. I got a lot of those last time uh, on my 2017 haul with my Eidicus oak and I just don't really want that discussion um, going around. You can easily find how much I paid for him and you don't need to comment it because I know and like the world knows because it's not hard to find it. Um, so anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you all had a really great year as well, and I will see you in 2020.